We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. Well, Vanderbilt's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively. But when you've got a wide receiver like this, it really helps the Cubs. It does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups. And when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out and try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. From their own 44-yard line, it's first down. A two-yard run by the halfback. job here by the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play third down now and they need to get it inside the 46 five wide and a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds that makes it first and ten Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough really to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Good job by the defense to force a punt on the first series. I'm sure the fans are thrilled to see their guys come up with an early stop in this game. Let's see if the offense can give them something else to get excited about now. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Nice run, and he's brought down. The tailback picks up six there on the misdirection. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That is a loss of four yards. Third and down. What was that? Third down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 22. Three down, three down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. He goes downtown. And it's picked off. Well, he was facing a big pass rush. The ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. First and 10. Ball on the 27 yard line. 87 is getting the ball. 87 is getting the ball. Check Mike 40. Just throws this one away. He goes out of bounds at the 32. That's a 
So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. From their own 32-yard line, third down. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. up and the defense has got it. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Puts it away, and it's a great kick. Oh, man, did he take a hit. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. Out of bounds at the 44. gain as he works the right side. Runs it and he's dot short of the line of scrimmage. That is a loss of one yard. That makes it fourth and four. Punt. No, they're going to throw it, and he's taken down at the 46-yard line. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Slings it, and he's taken down right around the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, second down. made right around the 32-yard line. A part of any quarterback's arsenal should be the ability to sell the run with a good fake. He does a really good job here on the fake, and then they pick up some nice yards. And down he goes at the 32-yard line. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. And he snags that one, and he's immediately tackled. Number 99 makes the tackle at the 29-yard line. That, that makes, makes it 37. 37. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. Four down, four down. Mike's, Mike's 40, Mike's 40. Here we go. Red 85. Swings it out there incomplete. Vanderbilt could take the lead with this field goal. 
He gets it up, and he got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. Fires it out, and he's tackled at about the 25-yard line. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. Vanderbilt's got a three-point lead. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. to his receiver, and he's hit immediately. That was actually pretty good defense, but a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome it. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's wrapped up for the sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Mike 36. Mike 36. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. Motion. Eagle. Motion, Eagle. Motion, motion. And he hits him hard. The 21 yard line. Call it a loss of 12 yards. That'll bring up 30 long. So another third down here, and this time it's third and long. Three down, three down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Set! Hot. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. Number six is the intended receiver. Fourth down. He's to the 40. It's a fumble. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. Just throws this one away. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Tackle around the 33 yard line. And he might want it all here and does. Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. 
An 11 play, 45 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Commodore is struggling trying to get their star wide receiver in this game, and sometimes. You know, Herbie, it's almost like uh, a jump shooter in basketball. Get him to the free throw line, get him one free one from 15 feet and see how he can do. they got to get the ball in his hands somehow. I agree with you 100%. I mean, it's just a matter of just one play, one touch to get this guy going because he has that kind of ability. And up to this point, they've not been able to find a way to get him the ball. Give credit, a lot of credit to this defense for coming in with a good plan. But now it's up to the offense to make their own adjustments to kind of counter that attack by this defense to be able to get the, the ball into the hands of their go-to guy. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 24-yard line. That makes it third and 11. Check four, check four. Check five. Ready. Four. <laughs> Wants to go long and does. Makes the grab and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. First down. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. They need to get it to the 19. Gets it out on the run and it's picked off. He didn't throw it away under pressure and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. Kentucky is up by four. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second and ten. Ball on the 11. And they got it. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. Double tight, double tight. Three down, three down. Three down. They're packed in tight on the line. Mike. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. And he didn't get it up for the first. You now, Brad, he's going to come up short here. The defense does a nice job of not allowing the ball carrier to get out into the open. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more case and sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He wants it all going long. Great concentration to Hall. And they make the stop at the seven-yard line. Well, that's the gamble you take when you blitz. There was plenty of room in his secondary, and when he found his receiver, there was more than enough space to get the first. Green, 
He's taken down around the four-yard line. From the four-yard line, second down. All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. Here's a pitch, left side. They'll knock him down for a loss. It's a great play by the defense, but you know, it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Got a man, open, touchdown! a well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three point lead with this extra point. He makes the PAT. Vanderbilt to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. That makes, that makes it second, second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 39. Kentucky's going to use their first time out of the half here. They come out in a five-wide set. He lets it fly. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Number 83 was the intended receiver on the play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Ready! Caught, and he's hit immediately. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. level at the 33. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. Booming kick. He fields it at the 17. Pretty good job by the return man there. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. But this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and wide receiver. Because again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27. Well, we're headed to halftime now, and we're seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch. The Commodores lead 10-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. No impressive rushing numbers in the first half. Both teams continued to try to establish the run. They were very stubborn about it, though neither one was very successful. We've got the sense at times that it was a little predictable that maybe the defense knew exactly what was coming every time. The run game is extremely important. It's important because it's body blows to a defense and you loosen them up, I think, later in the game. It opens it up to play action, but that doesn't mean that your script goes first and 10, I have to run the football. It mix it up, keep them off balance, keep the defense guessing. You've seen across college football, the teams with the most balance seems to be the most successful offenses. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. 
He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, Vanderbilt's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Excellent open field tackle. Nice run, and he's brought down. And that was a nice job of running. You know what, Brad? If they can utilize a balanced offense, mix up the run with the pass, they should be able to get more of these five to six yard runs. Quick throw, and he's taken down at the 49. Bring him down in the backfield. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 15. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on their own 45. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Steps out of bounds. The 48 yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Quick out to his receiver. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. And it goes out of bounds at the one-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Vanderbilt is up by three. Tackle made at the 14. Call it a gain of 13 yards. They line up at the 14. First down. And they push him out at the 18. That makes it second and six. Ready! And the safety with the interception. At the 30. This safety always seems to be in the right place at the right time. It's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here. First and 10, ball on the 30-yard line. Got it, but he's gonna lose yards here. Number 12 makes the tackle at the 31-yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. No chance. He has some room. He gets out to about the 21 yard line. That's good for him. Mike 36. Mike 36. Line in, Weasel. Line in, Weasel. Inside the 10. And that sets them up with a first and goal. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. 
It's second and goal. Six yards to the end zone. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in the pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel, almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown. Did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a six-play, 30-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Kentucky is ready to kick it away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Blue 19. Hut. Blue 19. Quick strike to the receiver. And he hits him hard at the 46-yard line. Call it a gain of 21 yards. First down. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. Throws it in a hurry, and he's tackled at the 49-yard line. Number 22 makes the tackle at the 49-yard line. That brings him second and five. Four down, four down. Forty's a mic. Forty's a mic. He scrambled, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. catch but he didn't get the first down yeah right now the way this defense is swarming there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory oh excellent punt and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback both squads are digging in now let's see what happens on this next drive Kentucky is up four. He might not be able to get the pass off. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners. From the 29-yard line, first down. Set, 10-20, 10-20. Wilson, Wilson. There's a strike complete. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Good outside run there. That brings him second and goal. Touchdown, Vanderbilt.
line to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he hits the PAT with a three-play, 30-yard drive. And the result, seven points. So our score, 17-14. Vanderbilt kicked this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on their own 23. Mike 36. Mike 36. Let's go. Let's hunt. Go. Tackle at the 33 yard line. So at the end of three, the Commodores lead 17 14. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback, gun. Black 85. Black 85. Tries to get around the corner. He's got it with room to run. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. They'll drop in for a loss. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. That'll bring up second and 12. From midfield, it's second down. You can't block me. You can't block me. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Makes the catch. The defense is all over him down for a loss. They get a one-yard loss on that one. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Screen pass intercepted. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40 yard line. Setting up play action. He launches one for the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown. Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. It was a pretty simple route, but they run it to perfection for the score. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Vanderbilt's defense has really been impressive, especially these last couple of drives. Well, now you start to think about how this team has played defensively, and what it's done is set up their own offense with a really good field position to give them a chance to be able to extend this lead. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Call it a gain of one yard. Watch the 
That brings up second and nine. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Ready! Easy, easy, easy! Eagle! Eagle! Fires it out. Come out in a five-wide set. Gets it out quickly. Brought down around the 48-yard line. And a quick throw. And they make the stop at the 37. He's at the 40. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. Five wide. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. That's a D. That brings in second and one. Just under three to go in regulation. 59 Philly! 59 Philly! Slings it, and he is drilled at the 13-yard line. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. They come out on an empty backfield. Scrambling around. There he goes, and he has a huge game. Yeah, I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. Taken down at the three yard line. Loss of one on the play. That brings him second and goal. Watch 36. 36 to my team. Easy, easy, easy. Lucky 95. Lucky 95. Touchdown, Kentucky. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. So the sack makes this a second and long. A little more than two next to go in the fourth quarter. And he's going to be sacked. And they get to him again. So facing this kind of pressure, you wonder if a young quarterback might start to become a little bit rattled. It'd make anyone nervous staring down this kind of pass rush. Once and all, going deep. Intercepted. It's the sophomore corner. I'm not sure they can get back in the game after that interception, Kirk. That was a heartbreak. From the 45-yard line, first down. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Quick out to his receiver. That makes us out in three. Bring him down around the 32 yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Where 
fires it out to the right to the halfback. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. That's a deep play. Hey, right, That'll make it second and four. Under a minute left in the game. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. Ready. Ready. Lucky. Motion, motion. Oh, yeah. ah. <laughs> And here's another third down. That'll bring up third and four. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. It's up, and he just drilled it from long range. Kentucky gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. Perfect timing to jar the ball loose and not pick up the penalty. That was a solid play. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Quick pass, intercepted. And he tackles him hard at the 36-yard line. What a crucial interception, and that'll change the whole landscape of this game. And now is the time to take advantage. This offense still has a job to do. They need to put points on the board to break this tie. But wow, do we have a great game or what? We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made around the 33-yard line. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Slides down. The Wildcats using their third and final timeout. The kick is up, and he splits the uprights. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this sets up the drama here in the fourth quarter. They've got the opportunity they've been looking for, an opportunity to take the lead and the win. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game. Wants to go long and does. Doesn't get there. The Bills team with a tough loss there, but the way their star played today, I think they can maybe build on that for next week. Well, I think that's the thing they've got to focus on. As you said, it's a tough loss for this team, but when you have a great performance by your star player and you're trying to build for the future, they really need to focus on his performance and try to build this team around his abilities to make plays. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.